Hi, hello friends, welcome to English with Mr. Nambi. This video we are going to learn about class 9th unit 5 poem The River written by Caroline Ann Bowles. Poet Caroline Ann Bowles is an English poet and she is the poet laureate of Britain and she belongs to the Victorian era. The important work written by Caroline Ann Bowles are The Little Lady Bird, Chapter on Churchyard and The Tales of the Factories. The poem River is a philosophical poem and the poet used comparison in this poem. The poet compared the river with the innocent child who plays. The poet also says that the river is also innocent like the child who plays. Come on friends, let's look into the summary of this poem. The poet begins the poem by stating the river as a little river. The poet says that the river looks very bright on its way. When the sunrise fall on the river water, it looks very bright and it seems to be bright on its way. The poet then describes about the yellow pebbles. While the flow of water hit the yellow pebbles, it goes up and down and it seems to be dancing. And then the river water goes through the flowers and foliage. The river water hit the flowers and it crosses the bushes and the plants which grows on the river. And the river water looks like a child who is playing. Poet calls the river as the swelling river. And she also says that the river water flows through rough and smooth areas. Poet also says that the flow of water is very faster and it makes a louder noise and it seems to be brawling and leaping like a child. River water is moving up and down and it crawls like a child. And the river water moves over the rocks and the river banks. And the rose banks here refers to the river bird. And the poet says that the river is looking like an impetuous youth. Now the poet calls the river as a brimming river. She also says that the river is broad and deep. Even as the time passes, the river water moves in motion. And the poet says that the river water is moving towards the ocean and she also compares the river with a mortal prime because it has no end. Now the poet calls the river as the headlong river and the water from the river is running towards the sea. The poet says that the depth of the sea cannot be measured and none of the sailor can sail all over the sea. The poet calls the sea as an eternal. As like the sea, the river is also an eternity, as the river has no death. Poet thus concludes the poem by stating that river has no death and it cannot be ended. Through this, the poem came to an end. Thank you so much friends for watching.